Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Emmerdale Gossip. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In February 2005, Charity began an affair with Jimmy King, Nick Miles, but soon decided to blackmail him in Emmerdale with Debbie and Noah, Tom begged Charity to get back with him, despite her relationship with Jimmy, however, Charity refused, with her leaving with Noah after Debbie refused to leave. After four years away, she returned in 2009 and transpired that Charity and Michael had been engaged for over a year whilst failing to mention her 19-year-old daughter and having no idea about Michael's affair Michael wanted to be with Debbie and claimed he was only with Charity because of her pregnancy. Debbie realized that Charity had known Michael was about to leave her and told him that she was pregnant in a means of keeping hold of him and revealed this to Michael but Charity denied. It done on Debbie's 20th birthday, Charity attempted to flee the birthday meal after Kane had offered to pay her £20,000 if she left the village and never came back. Charity then briefly left the village with Noah but returned a few days later and soon learned of Kane's fortune, stolen from the King's marriage to Jai Sharma in December 2010. Charity started working for Jai Sharma as a property developer helping with the restoration of the barn next to the Zach Dingle, Steve Hallowell, and Lisa Dingles. Jane Cox, farmed out on February 10, 2011, Jai took Charity to a hotel in Leeds for a business trip for the evening, hoping to seduce her. However, Charity made it clear that she would not cheat on Kane, despite his flaws and her attraction towards Jai later, Kane arrived at the first hotel with flowers for Charity, but upon finding out that she and Jai had already checked out and only had one room, he assumed the worst and returned to the village and slept with Faye Lam, Kim Thompson. Initially, Kane acted nonchalantly as he was convinced Charity would soon be back. However, it quickly became clear that she had moved on from Kane. When she moved into Holdgate Farm with Jai, after a lot of drama, back and forth and scare tactics, Charity and Jai finally married on 26 th January 2012.at the end of the day, she repaired her relationship with Debbie who finally forgave her, and she and Jai got happily married, Jai ended up having an affair with Rachel Breckel, Gemma Oten, who soon gave birth to his son Archie Breckel, Kayasi. Charity soon found out about the affair and gave Jai an ultimatum, saying he had to choose between. Her and Archie, leading to him choosing Archie and deciding they should get divorce marriage to Declan Macy and attempted murder. Charity and Declan began a relationship, despite no one believing it would last and she soon realized that she was pregnant, planning to secretly have an abortion that he found out and proposed to her, which she reluctantly accepted and later returned home to find out Declan had told Noah about the baby, however, she was still set on having the termination. Having booked an appointment for the day after the wedding. On May 15, 2014, Charity married Declan and after a confrontation with Megan a few days later, it gave Charity an opportunity to feign miscarriage when she was accidentally knocked to the floor. After taking the pills making her miscarry. The scan at the hospital confirmed she has lost the baby, leaving Declan devastated. Declan soon figured out what had happened and was planning to murder her, leaving Charity to overhear the conversation. Declan returned home and Charity played it cool while he coerced her into coming onto a boat trip, but she panicked, she attempted to attack him. With an axe, only for him to knock her out with a mallet, believing that Charity was dead, Declan placed her in the boot of his car and attempted to bury her in the nearby woods, but when he opened the boot Charity fought back, attacking him and running away. He caught up to her though and once again tried to kill her but she managed to escape, fleeing onto a boat, but to her horror, the boat got stuck in the middle of the lake. Allowing Declan to swim to it that he attempted to shoot Charity with a flare gun, however, instead fatally shot his nephew, Robbie Lawson, Jamie Shelton, who was attempting to save Charity. Declan then tried to pull Charity into the water but she hit him over the head with aim towel box and Declan sunk into the water, seemingly dead, prison and being owner of the Woolpack. After opening an illegal car chop shop, Charity was found not guilty on the charge of fraud but guilty to have perverted the course of justice and was sentenced to two years imprisonment. While waiting to be escorted to the prison, she told Kane that she still loved him and wanted to pursue a relationship with him once she was released, but he didn't have time to answer before she was taken away. Debbie visited her on June 11, 2015 and was shocked when Charity gave birth to her son, Moses Dingle. 
As no one knew she was even pregnant, Charity made Debbie his legal guardian and she returned to prison as her get-out-of-jail-early trick had failed Dein demanded to know who the baby's father was but Charity said she couldn't tell him, who was later revealed to be Ross Barton. To everyone's disbelief, it was revealed Charity had bought Diane Sugden's, Elizabeth Estenson, half of the wool pack when she walked behind the bar and declared to everyone that she was the owner in late September, Kane and Charity started dating and Debbie called Charity, informing her she and the kids planned to stay in France permanently, prompting Charity and Kane to decide to leave the village and stay with Debbie in France, however, Kane changed his mind last minute, still in love with Moira, and a devastated Charity faked her suicide by crashing his car in a quarry. She turned up back in the village a few days later and vowed to Noah that from now on he would be her number one priority relationship with Vanessa Woodfield and Mackenzie Boyd. On February 22, 2018, Charity and Vanessa made their relationship official after months of teasing and denying their feelings for each other. On January 17, 2019, Charity proposed to Vanessa in an extravagant ordeal at Home Farm, however. Vanessa rejected her when she realized Charity had hijacked someone else's proposal but later said yes when Charity proposed for a second time with just the two of them, after being involved in yet another fraud scheme the pair got back together but there. Happiness didn't last long when Vanessa couldn't get past being lied to for months and broke up with Charity who was left devastated. Charity is currently married to Mackenzie but has been through another ordeal with the troubled youngster. Mackenzie cheated on Charity with Chloe Harris, Jesse Elland, who became pregnant and soon gave birth to their son Reuben. Charity was left devastated and cooled things off, leaving Mac to focus on his son and Chloe but couldn't stay away from Charity, Chloe found out he had been unfaithful again and attempted to kill Charity, but Mackenzie was left to decide who he wanted to save, pulling Charity from the wreckage and leaving Chloe to fall, luckily escaping death.